What's up, everybody? So let's talk about Cassie. So Cassie has finally spoken out since filing that lawsuit against Diddy. So y'all know she filed a lawsuit against Diddy last November and the details in the lawsuit were gruesome. And since she filed that lawsuit, there have been several other people coming out speaking against Diddy. But people have been coming out and speaking about Diddy for several years, but they did not believe these people because Diddy is rich. Diddy is a mogul. Diddy is famous. But we don't know how these people are behind closed doors, but people have been coming out and speaking against Diddy for several years and no one was believed. Now, when Cassie came out with her lawsuit, people started getting the courage up to come out and speak out against Diddy even more. And simply put, Diddy is a low down evil individual and there's no other way to put it. And this is what Cassie put on her Instagram page. She says, thank you for all of the love and support for my family, friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now. But this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Thank you for everyone that has taken the time to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you were powerless in. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me. Thank you. Love always, Cassie. Good for Cassie. I'm, I'm happy that she spoke out and happy that everyone else is speaking out too as well. And as they should, because you cannot do people wrong. You cannot continuously do people wrong and expect good to come out of it. It just does not work like that. Okay. Even if you're out there doing voodoo, hoodoo, black magic, that stuff can come back on you, okay? And that's what Diddy thought. Diddy thought that he was above everything because of his money, the power, everything like that. And it just does not work like that, okay? It does not work like that. And in that apology video, he was very disingenuous. Diddy was not sorry for what he did. He's not sorry. He's only sorry because of his downfall. He's sorry now because people are not liking him. People are seeing his true colors. People are seeing how he truly is. And people are turning their backs on Diddy publicly. And that's why he was looking the way that he was looking in that uh, quote unquote apology video that he put out. Diddy is feeling that sting. He feeling that sting and he cannot take it. He cannot take it right now. He can't. And Diddy was the only person to create his own downfall. He was the one who did all of these things to all of these people. And no one wants to tear a black man down. He tore himself down. He tore his own self down by doing the things that he did. So no one is tearing Diddy down. He tore himself down years ago, years ago. And to be quite honest with you, no one is above or beyond reproach. And I don't understand why people feel like just because they are a celebrity or they have money that we cannot state our dissatisfaction with their evil, corrupt behavior because we can. We can. Because if that was your mother, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, and Diddy did those things to them, would you not be upset? Yes, you would be. And Diddy has to be stopped because y'all remember he said that those allegations in Cassie's lawsuits were lies. But then when that video came out of him putting his hands and feet on her, 
y'all saw then that Cassie was telling the truth, even though y'all sat up here and was saying that Cassie was lying. But Diddy has to be stopped, though. He does. And it seemed like every day someone is coming out with a lawsuit against Diddy. Diddy essayed me. Diddy drugged me. Diddy put his hands on me. Y'all, this is crazy. This whole situation with Diddy is crazy. But I am glad that Cassie spoke out. And I'm glad that other people are speaking out because this is not right. It's not right how Diddy has done so many people. It's just not right at all. And I don't like it. Period. So what do y'all think about Cassie finally coming out and speaking out about this situation? Now, from what I heard, because of legal issues, that neither Cassie nor Diddy can mention the other person's name. So Cassie can't mention Diddy's name. Diddy cannot mention Cassie's name. But I am glad that she spoke out. So what do y'all think about this whole situation with Cassie speaking out? Y'all know what y'all gotta do? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this video, like this video, and y'all know what y'all gotta do. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.